Have you ever had that feeling where you know you want to do something, you know you want to pursue something, but there's something that's just stopping you? I just knew deep down I didn't want to work for other people. I want to be my own boss. Halfway through that course, I had this epiphany that why am I doing this? I don't even enjoy it. But to quit, I had to do something very big. Move to the Philippines because at that time I started getting into... I've been procrastinating on this moment for quite some time. I am pretty lost. In a philosophical sense, I am totally in no man's land. Please give me a minute to explain. If there's one thing I've learned over the past five years, it's that I am not driven by money. There has been times in the past five years where I've been making good money. There has been times that have been more of a struggle. I really wanna find something that I love doing, something that is either teaching people or giving people value in some kind of way. And I had a very, very enlightening conversation with a friend or two of mine last month, which really lit a fire under my ass. They basically sort of made me realize the value in my life story up until this point. Maybe you've wanted to make videos at some point in the past, but have you wondered why would anyone want to listen to me? You know, what, what is so special about my life? I'm not here to say that my life is, you know, the most extravagant or whatever, but there might be somebody out there who can get some inspiration from these videos that I'm gonna make in the coming days, weeks and months and years. So there you are, there's my intro. I hope you <laughs> follow along with me. I don't really know where this is gonna go, but it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be a challenge. I'm so ready for it though. I don't suppose any of you have worked out where I am yet. I'm not gonna give you very long. We are in Da Nang, Vietnam. Now, the first time I came to Vietnam was five years ago in 2019. That was the first place I ever backpacked to. And I am so happy to be back. This is just like ticking every box at the moment. I mean, the beach is here. I was gonna say beautiful weather. Today's not the best, but it's still pretty warm. The mountains are in the background. Great food, great coffee. It's relatively affordable and we are just loving it so far. Me and my girlfriend Vivi have been here for a couple of weeks and I could easily see myself being here for several months. I've just arrived at the airport. She doesn't know I'm coming to pick her up. So yeah, hopefully she's excited. Actually the arrival area is such a nice place to be because literally everyone is just waiting for their loved ones. Everyone is excited. There's kind of an energy around this area. And when everyone starts pouring out, yeah, everyone's hugging and, you know, oh, it's just great. It's a nice place to be. It's very heartwarming. I need to keep a little bit on the down low so she doesn't see me. See I'm hiding behind this pillow right here. It wouldn't be a very good surprise if she saw me. Probably won't be able to see me though. Her eyes are really bad. She's going to hate me for saying that. <laughs> There she is, putting her suitcases through the scanner. She has no idea. No idea. She's the shortest out of everyone and we're in Vietnam. <laughs> right, this is gonna be Operation Sneak Up and hope she doesn't see me. Uh, <laughs> you looked on the floor. I looked on the floor. <laughs> you surprised? Oh, I was so surprised. <laughs> Vietnam is extremely famous for its coffee. It would be rude not to go and get one now so we can carry on our little discussion. Please, oh please, if you're coming to Vietnam, don't buy your coffee here. Time to get some food, coffee. For those of you who are wondering, 
$25 a week for this bad boy. You don't have to tell me I'm cool. I already know. Now this is the part where you would drive off, but actually I have to get the camera, so. Yeah, it's a tough gig, this one. It's a tough gig. All right, I can hear you in the comments saying don't vlog and drive, but I'm not even on the main road yet, so don't worry. I'm gonna put it away. This is my favorite time of the day, going to find food. Oh, Vietnam's just great, love it. Love it. Okay, time for one of my favorite dishes in Vietnam, buzzing. Xin chào, một bún thịt nấu. Cảm ơn. So this is uh, quickly becoming one of my favorite dishes. It's called bún thịt nấu. Essentially, what we've got in here is like fried onions, pieces of pork, chili and garlic. Not sure what this is. Some kind of crispy thing, and a load of fresh goodness. Pickled vegetables over here. Carrot. Um, loads of coriander, cucumber, and then you basically just mix it all in with a satay sauce. This, honestly, is a joke. So we're gonna mix all this up in here. Oh my God, I think she's done me an extra large bowl. This is massive. I better go careful on the chili, because last time I went a bit nuts with that and it made it way too spicy. For those of you asking again, this is 25,000 dong, which is currently about one US dollar. Yes, I know, absolutely wild. I wanna carry on my uh, discussion from earlier. Um, I learned a very valuable lesson when I was young. I had a YouTube channel um, from the age of about 12 and I gave it up for reasons I won't really get into. Um, but I had a gaming YouTube channel. I got into the best team in Call of Duty and I had over 100,000 subscribers. I was making very good money for my age at 14 years old. But obviously at that age, I didn't really understand the value of money. But what that taught me was that I can make money by myself. So I think this must have been one of the main factors as to why I didn't want to go to work in a traditional job and go through the process of getting a degree and, and trying to work for someone else. Like, that whole idea just didn't sit well with me. So what I decided to do was to leave school at 16 um, and, and start working. Because from the age of 16 to 21, I had a bunch of different jobs. I was working in hospitality. I was working behind a bar. I was actually a pest controller at one point. I wouldn't last more than like four to six months in any job because I couldn't really deal with authority very well, to be honest. Um, but I just knew, I just knew deep down, I didn't want to work for other people. I want to be my own boss. I want to, I want to be on my own time. And I think having that YouTube channel from a young age taught me that that was possible. So at the age of 21, when I started a cybersecurity course, cybersecurity college course, just to do something, do something, get an education, get a qualification to get a job, halfway through that, course I had this epiphany that why am I doing this I don't even enjoy it um, so I quit but to quit I had to do something very big and at that time my, my father was currently living in China um, and you know I thought why not move out there I didn't really have any money at the time uh, thankfully he said he would pay for my flights which was good enough uh, to be able to, to make that move and, and, and people around me thought I was crazy, like, I don't know, moving to China at that age is just like, it's unheard of, no one really does that. So um, yeah, that's what I did. And we became YouTubers once again. <laughs> the whole theme is around YouTube, right? And here I am doing it again. I won't get into the reasons why, um, you know, I'm not doing the YouTube channel in China anymore. That will be saved for a future video, but I decided to leave last year in 2021 and move to the Philippines because at that time I started getting into poker. And I thought, 
F it, I was going to swear, but I'm going to keep this a PG channel. I thought, F it, I'm going to move to the Philippines and pursue uh, poker because that became my new passion. And once again, I quit that. Hold on, let me eat something. That's a very quick scattered explanation of the timeline of to how I got here. I've had a lot of questions over the, the years of like, I'm not sticking at anything. I'm starting projects. I'm not finishing them. Although I had a very successful first year in poker, I still decided to give it up because I realized it wasn't fulfilling me and came to realize that providing, you know, substance in, in YouTube videos is, is ultimately my destiny. I know it sounds cliche, but this is what I love to do. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do it. Um, it's kind of scary, the thought that, you know, right now I have no income. YouTube channel is, is something unique in the sense that you could put in work for months and months and months and not make a dime off it. I'm hoping that's not the case because then I'll eventually have to quit. Um, but I think we can do it. We can build a community together and we can, we can make this happen. And uh, I think over the years I've just found the, you know, I've, I've started to understand the beauty in the idea that it's not so bad that I'm quitting things and starting new things. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm learning so many things along the way. Like, I'm in the university of life. Just, excuse me. I'm in the university of life through travel. Like, to think of how much of a different person I am from five years ago through my travel around Asia is, is insane. I mean, I'm, I'm unrecognizable from, from that time. And um, I've got to find a way to be proud of that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to enjoy my food and, uh, we'll see where we are afterwards. It's kind of a bit weird. I've, I've, I've amassed a bit of an audience watching me eat. You guys want to say hello to the video? <laughs> I'm not used to eating with an audience, but that was a interesting one. Come on, come bye. -bye. One thing I love about here is that you're never more than 10 steps away from a coffee shop. This one is called Bela. Order here? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Let's see what we're working with. I'm looking for a coffee. Yeah, coffee. We have triple coffee, a basil. Um, it's truffle coffee. coffee. Okay, let's try it. I've never had that before. Yeah. Yeah, let's try it. Uh, sit in if there's any space because it looks busy. Oh, there you go. No need for the one, don't worry about the one. <laughs> All right, thanks. All right, thanks. All right, my thing is buzzing, so that must mean my coffee is ready. This is mine, I guess. Okay, thank you. Now, I have never tried this before. I have no idea what this is. Um, I kind of just went with the flow of what she recommended me. This, this place is pretty sick. So busy, I'm shocked. That's one thing I really enjoy about here is literally the, just the coffee culture in general. Like there's so many people just chilling. I mean, it's a Friday night, so they've probably got that Friday feeling. I'm on my own though, unfortunately. Very nicely presented, I must say, on this tray. Pretty cool. Um, let's have a look what we got. Co uh, truffle. It's got co it's got coconut in. It's got I don't know whatever else in, but it looks beautiful. We got this like nice thick cream on the top. Um, so yeah, I'll give you a little taste test. Wow. The characteristic of uh, Vietnamese coffee is that it's quite sweet. I like cold sweet drinks, so that suits me very well. I'm not gonna say I'm rushed to order this specific one again, um, as it's like a little bit salty, which is not usually what I would go for, but I'm not gonna lie, it's quite nice. I just wanna leave you with one thought. Um, have you ever had that feeling where you know you wanna do something, you know you wanna pursue something, but 
there's something that's just stopping you or maybe you even find yourself like making excuses to not be able to do it like whatever they are quite often we 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 put mental barriers mental blockades in the way of, of, of us doing what we want to do and even i still do that all the time I, i've procrastinated for weeks on making this first video because i was scared of getting used to people watching me film again i was scared of the idea that no one would want to watch it's all just being scared of failure i guess i'm also trying to learn myself to not be scared of failure like if this doesn't work like it is what it is like i've learned skills from it that i will be able to take on into the future what whatever i'm doing so yeah try to not make excuses for yourself try to not care what others think and and just do it if it's something you want to do just do it and i always try to follow my nan's quote which is follow the path of light and it will take you to wonderful places and i've been trying to you know, it's given me a lot of courage uh, thinking that way um, because it has done. You know, I have followed the opportunities that have arisen to me. I have tried to grasp them with both hands as best as I can. And I have a lot of experiences and memory, memories to draw from um, since I've been doing that. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Take care.